Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Afghan Cooks. Sharaglas, Dostan, Kiriban, Rifikan, Shirikan. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today I am making, we've had you all ask for a very long time for uh, mantu and I wanted to make mantu but I was in the mood for something more vegetarian so I made ashak instead. So ashak is, uh, so mantu and ashak are two different things. Um, ashak is filled with meat and we have a vegetarian topping on the outside. Mantu, nope, wrong. Mantu is filled with meat and we have a tomato sauce on the outside and ashak is filled with leeks uh, or green onions or chives and then it's a meat topping on the outside. Today we're making a completely vegetarian ashak. Ashak, mantu, these are multi-step recipes. They're not difficult, but they are time consuming. Now, one of the ways to cut back on some of the time is to buy pre-made dumpling wrappers. You can make your own dough, but I want this to be fairly easy, pretty accessible. You want to make some ashak, you can do it and it won't be completely insanely complicated. Okay. So for the topping right now, we have some yellow split peas. I made a video. This is a company called Kitchen Things. It's a small woman owned company that sells these jars. I'm going to take about two cups of lentils there and I'm going to rinse these. That's the first thing I'm going to do. Okay. There are more ingredients involved, but it's good to have these rinsed and soaked while you're getting everything else together. You can see how clear that water is compared to the first go around. We're just going to put this aside. So here I have some leeks and I'm actually going to wash these leeks after I cut them so that we can get all of the dirt out from inside. Okay, leeks grow in the ground like onions, so they get a lot of dirt inside of them. And so I have a um, food processor. And if you have one that's great, it makes your life much, much easier. And I'm actually going to use the entire thing. I know that people say don't use this part or don't use that part. I'm just going to take off some of this kind of fluffy top part. Why am I bloopering it so badly? Voila! I think I have too many leaks. Okay, so now we're gonna take these out. I'm gonna put them in here and we're gonna rinse them. Now, while the leaks are draining, cause you don't want them to be wet, right? You want them to dry out a little bit. We are going to do the dal, the split peas. Okay, here I have one onion that I have chopped up. Take a few cloves of garlic and I'm going to mince those. We have um, these little mini tomatoes. You can use uh, two large tomatoes. I have a bunch of these small ones that I need to use. So I'm gonna use these. Tomato paste. And then I have here, I have cumin. I actually use the burlap and barrel cumin and I ground it up. I have some coriander, turmeric, salt, and pepper. You can also add a little chili to this if you want as well. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna boil the lentils. We're gonna boil those separately so that those cook separate from the tomato sauce. All right, we're gonna let this come up to a boil. Once it boils, we're gonna reduce the heat till about medium and we're gonna let it simmer for about 10 minutes, okay? Let it boil, cover it. You can see our onions. I mean, it doesn't always smell like onions in an Afghan house. That would not be the greatest smell ever. But it always smells like something good is cooking. Start with about one and a half teaspoons of salt. 
turmeric, the ground coriander, burlap and barrel cumin. I'm going to add a little of this burlap and barrel chili pepper too. Let me find it. Tablespoon of tomato paste. It's about two tablespoons. We're going to stir this so that everything cooks. You don't want the tomato paste to taste raw. You want it to be cooked. So we're going to let that cook on medium heat. Meanwhile, you can look over here, simmering away. Why don't we cook the lentils, the dal, in here? Because it will take forever to cook. For whatever reason, there's science behind it. When you cook dried beans, with even with salt, they won't cook. Now we're going to add this garlic. Let that cook in with all of this stuff for about another minute or two. Going to add our chopped tomatoes. Let all of that cook together. Now that the tomatoes are starting to get soft, we're going to add some water. Okay, now we're going to cover this and turn the heat down so it's a simmer and wait for our lentils to finish cooking. Half of those leeks, uh, so I think two and a half leeks, and I got this much from it. So you don't need as many as I had. I took the rest, I put it in a freezer bag, and you can freeze it, and then you can use it again for bolognese. I have a recipe for bolognese on the channel and on the blog. So I'm gonna take some of my um, burlap and barrel cumin, and I need to grind some of it up. I'm gonna take one teaspoon of that cumin, one teaspoon of ground coriander, actually half a teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of this beautiful burlap and barrel garlic, one teaspoon of salt, and some black pepper. And now we're going to stir this all around. The word for leek in Pashto is gandana. Um, we're going to add a little bit of chili as well. We're going to add about a teaspoon of chili flakes to that. Now we added this into here. The lentils still have a good texture, okay? They're not mushy. You don't want mushy lentils. And we're going to let this cook while we work on the rest of the recipe. So I have a, I opened up this large one. I'm gonna start working with these. I have a little bowl of water here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a wrapper, okay? And then you take, the easiest way to shoot, the, to, to fold this is just in half like this. And that's it. Okay, make sure that they're nicely closed up, and that is the easiest way. Okay, now we're ready to boil our dumplings. We're gonna boil our dumplings now. Um, what I have done already though, I'm gonna show you guys. I already made my platter. I have the yogurt sauce. The link to that is in the description. You should have this sauce, you should make it, you should keep it in your fridge, you should always have it. Our water is boiling. Now we're gonna add our ashak and they only take a very few minutes to cook. I have our yogurt sauce on the bottom here. Now, if you want, you can use a vegan yogurt and then this dish will be a completely vegan. We're gonna take these ashaks and we're going to line them up 
here. And here's our, our lentil sauce. And we're just gonna pour this over the top. And there you have it. A shuck. It's a party food. This is not something that you're going to make every single day. I did show you a couple of shortcuts if you're interested in making this dish. Or if you make this, please let me know. Leave a comment. Shout out to me on Twitter. I'm Miriam71 on Twitter, Instagram, uh, wherever you can find me. Okay, we have, an, we have a Facebook page as well. Leave a comment, send me a photo. I get super excited when you all make these recipes. Do not forget, um, if you've forgotten, if that's why you haven't subscribed yet, to subscribe to this channel. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video um, and hit the bell notification so that you'll be notified every single time we make a new video and comments. I love it when you interact with us at the Afghan Cooks community and uh, we'll see you again soon.